Hello everybody, my name is Tia Topes and welcome to the Bookworms Universe Show and today I'm going to be talking about how to preserve your books from termites. So termites can be quite a pest and troublesome, especially if you know they get into your books and then after that you know you have to throw them away. So what I would suggest is that you use a wrapping foil. Okay, you see this one my oldest books and I use a kitchen wrapping foil and I've been using it over more than 12 years so can you see? so roughly how the book will look like it will change colour and then you know you get round spots so this book is from year 2004 so I since then it's been wrapped up this one of the books so this is the outcome can you see the colours? still looks like brand new, it just became darker and just some yellow stains so if you want your books to look brand new then you can just leave them on the shelf then but over time termites will come and then the books you, you just have to get rid of it I didn't want to get rid of my books so I basically wrapped them up usually I prefer using a kitchen uh, wrapping foil but uh, because of uh, you know it's a bit difficult you have to wrap it twice although it's much more stickier so this is the lousy account I got from using a hardware board tin foil this from the hardware the hardware and it's far more cheaper than using the kitchen tin foil so today I'm going to be showing you how to wrap your books so just Stay tuned and just continue to watch the video. Say so turn a bit. Okay. So what you need is a tin foil, and just some surfing tape, and then also mm, scissors. Yeah, you need scissors, or you can use a can knife. So basically, just gonna push you nearer. Okay. I think roughly you get the idea. Okay, like put you slightly down. So basically you can take a book. Okay. So you can place it like this. So you basically place your book like this. You see, and then you just wrap it up like this. Just if you want to save space, you can actually measure it and then just do it. So roughly, if I let's say I just want to around this size. So what I can do is I do this, and then you can just cut off. But for this book. And to do something like this, can you see? You just put one end, and just roughly estimate here. So you basically just cut this over here. It's usually cheaper to use a hardware tin foil. Wrapping foil, sorry. And then you just cut the end here. Can you see? Just fold it. Then from one end, you just put it here. Try to massage your books. It's good to wrap it up. So just the end here. If you want, you can use your book the other way. You know, you can wrap it up so that way you can see the carbon much more clearly. That's behind. I'm sure I've done that. So, this is basically it. This is the way how you can preserve your books. And just that it will change color over time. And then you can still read it. You can keep it forever. No, hopefully, you can keep it forever. So far, that's it. This book is year 2004. More than 12 years. 
Actually, I can't remember when I bought this book, but I remember wrapping it up more than 10 years ago. So, that's it. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. I wish I could make a better one, but, uh, also, yeah, one of the reasons why I bought the big tin foil, because usually, big books like this, it's usually hard to wrap them up. So, if you use the kitchen tin for uh, kitchen uh, wrapping foil, it become you have to wrap it up two, three times. So usually this one is quite good. You see, it's useful. You just have to take the big one and just have to put here. And just wrap it up. I'm just giving you a rough guide, not to finish reading the book. So like that. So just fold it both ends. Then you can put the stuff in tape. So thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. So. Uh, take care.